This is a brand new truck from HB Toys. It's called the Wilderness. And I don't reckon Trax is gonna be too happy with this. I don't think Ford are gonna be too happy either. Sometimes people ask me, why do you show these knockoffs? Why do you promote them? Well, let's be honest. People are gonna buy them anyway, so they might as well see what they're getting. Quite often, they don't perform all that great. And the price of this one, it's got some stiff competition. It needs to perform. Oh, look at this. I'm not sure what that looks like. I'm not sure where they're going with that. Anyway, you get a transmitter. That is for the two-speed gearbox. Throttle trim, steering trim, steering reverse, button for the lights, and a setup button. You can certainly feel the plastics and stuff are cheaper than your Traxxas equivalent. This is a nice color, this one. Come on, don't be shy. Instructions, parts, part numbers, whether you can find them yet, I don't know, I've not looked. Wheel wrench. Hello. Keys. So it looks like it's got Hobbywing 1060 in it. That's not a bad ESC. Little charger, it does come with a battery. If you use this charger though, it's gonna take you probably 10 years to charge it. It's a 3000 milliamp hour two cell and that only outputs 800 milliamp. So it would take forever to charge on that. And you get a little sticker sheet. What does that say? <laughs> Beluga. <laughs> Beluga? Isn't that a whale? Isn't that Beluga a whale? <laughs> is nearly at the same level as tire sniffing isn't it peeling off this it's a very nice color i must say it's like a baby blue it's all plastic molded parts on here i think they might be actual metal snorkel mirrors roof bars side steps door handles real spare wheel on the back this one as well comes with lights fitted you don't have to pay an extra seven thousand pound for some lights oil shocks that feels all right you know it feels pretty good also, you'll notice there's no body pins. There's also no body pins underneath. Watch this, look. <laughs> I'm not sure where this idea come from. Ta-da! Oh, I just pulled all the lights out. <laughs> it's got a quick release body system on it. Look at all that cage under there, look. Look at that plastic. So there's your lights up front. And there's all the lights at the rear. So we have got a 550 brushed motor. The world's biggest receiver. You got all your light functions there and then you got, it looks like six channels there. Central battery tray, chassis mounted servo. There's your ESC that's meant to be a 1060. Oh, it does say it on there, look, 1060. You can swap these over to different functions. I think, I think that tab there should be all the way out because that'll just give you forward and reverse, i.e. a crawler mode. Inner fender guards or inner arches, and then a little bit of a tray there that you can actually put a strap through there, and you can put a little shorty battery up front, changes your weight distribution. If you're familiar with the TRX4, some of this might look similar. Hmm. And then underneath, it looks like we've got three link at the front with a panard bar. Where's the panard bar? Yeah, there it is. Panar bar just down there. Four link at the rear. They are metal links. Portal axles with CVDs, bearings as well. No locking diffs on this one by the looks of it. Although there is a little cap just there and just there. I don't know whether that's a future thing that this is gonna have locking diffs, but maybe. Plastic drive shafts, metal ends on them. Not much more to see up here. Tires feel not too bad. They're not, they don't feel a super soft compound, but I don't feel too bad. Probably got some foams in there. And then the last thing, servo there for the two-speed gearbox. Right, I'm gonna wait for the battery to charge. It's not got long left. I'm gonna work out where these lights go and then we'll see how it functions. Then we're gonna take it out for a spin. Right then, let's switch it on. Where's the switch? So, first things first, we should boycott any RC company that puts indicators as soon as you touch the wheel. Ready? Look, you don't even have to touch the steering wheel on this one. Oh, and it's that sensitive that now it's staying on even though I'm not touching it. I love lights on RC cars. I do love them. But your indicators don't come on as soon as you turn the steering wheel. You should put them on like a rocker switch or something if you really have to put them on. You can switch the lights all the way off, switch them so they then randomly flash or do them like that. Great, we've got reverse lights, look, nice. But they also act as brake lights. <laughs> oh, steering it's not too bad actually the steering feels pretty strong and then this should be low gear it's low gear high gear right first things first let's check the speed this is low gear
and this is high gear. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, it's got some speed about it. Whoa! <laughs> I think we need to go low for some uh, trailing. I've not changed the ESC yet, so it's still set on forward brake reverse. That might mean we haven't got a drag brake, but I might flick it over in a bit. It crawls pretty good. That's, I definitely think that's a 1060 ESC. It certainly seems to be one anyway. Can't see any, uh, it's not glitching or anything like that. No, oh, not bad. Some of these cheaper companies may be making some half decent products now. This is over £200, $250, so it's not cheap, cheap. Come on. Oh, you want to go that way? Nope. Yeah, can't really call it cheap. Although it is cheap compared to a TRX4, it's half the price, or more than half the price in the UK almost a third of the price. I think the Bronco in the UK is like 600 pound. Mad prices. A bit wet and slippery today, but should still get up here. Recent stuff I brought down here has not had a problem. Whoa. Just lacking a bit of traction there. Come on. There we go. We got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew. Right, uh, go, 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 go. Yeah, good save, although I usually come down that way. There we go. We did it. Oh, oh, definitely not got a drag brake at the moment. There is no way this will get down here without a drag brake. I'm just gonna have to gun it. Once it starts rolling, it's got to hit that throttle. 90% <laughs> of the stuff I've tried to get down here always rolls anyway. Here we go. Can we do it? <laughs> There's more luck than anything. So this area here, usually in the summer, it's like completely dry. It's like really hard, compact muck and it's dry. You wouldn't believe that it's August in the UK. But that's good, because I like going through mud and water. Although I'm not sure we should venture right over there, that's quite deep. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, bit deeper than I thought there. <laughs> This is not actually that bad, you know. I wasn't sure what it's gonna be like, but it's not that bad. Right, I've switched the ESC, I've taken the tab out, so now it's just forward, straight brake. And that's also given us a drag brake. Not sure how this is gonna do on the rocks, but let's give it a quick go. Certainly got control there. I have to bully my way through there. Nom, nom, nom. Guys, I'm actually impressed with this. It's no TRX4, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna say it's better than that, because it's not. But, look at it. There we go, <laughs> nice. This is steeper than, if I hold the camera straight, kind of see. <laughs> Here it goes. Whoa. There was a little technique. Use that uh, bit of that, whatever that is, that shrub. Just to uh, support the side of the truck. Go over it, there we go. And then it should just spin it around. <laughs> you can tell I've been here a few times. Oh, stop. Mirrors. Need to see behind you. Well, apart from the ridiculous indicators, I don't think this is too bad. Yeah, servo. <laughs> and the uh, weak servo. Well, we've got a drag brake now, so... 
You can see it just holding on. Ah. At a third of the price of a TRX4 in the UK, I'd say this is a good deal. So final thoughts, I like it. Is it as good as a TRX4? No, it's not, but for the price, I think it's actually all right. I think it's a little bit smaller than a TRX4. I haven't got a TRX4 anymore, so I can't put it next one, but I think it might be a little bit smaller, but it is standard one-tenth size crawler. And that is the HB Toys Wilderness. Pleasantly surprised. I swear, every time I come down here, this crack gets bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh my god, please. <laughs>